Police in Cumberland County are investigating a fight at a midget football game. This one started between cheerleaders and ended with an off-duty state trooper making an arrest at gunpoint. Megan Healy is live now with the latest on the investigation. Megan. Flora, this was the midget game between Spatera Township and Carlisle. Police say two cheerleaders got into a fist fight after the game. An off-duty trooper in the stands then intervened but was attacked himself. So he pulled his weapon and that sent many parents into a panic. That's state trooper Scott Roussel in the blue shirt and tan ball cap, standing by a man he just arrested at gunpoint after a midget football game in Carlisle. We obtained this video shot by a Carlisle fan, the aftermath of a fight Sunday afternoon between two opposing cheerleaders that quickly escalated. Where one cheerleader was assaulted, she was jumped from behind, punched in the back of the head, and basically stomped. North Middleton Police Chief Doug Wright says that's when Trooper Roussel, off duty at the time, stepped in. But Wright says the attacking cheerleader from Swadera Township fought back and so did her uncle. He then assaulted the trooper, jumped the trooper, uh, knocking the trooper to the ground. Again, he has already identified himself as a trooper. Apparently the suspect had made comments that he didn't care who he was. Uh, and, and knew that he was an off-duty police officer. Investigators say Roussel, fearing for his own safety, then drew his weapon and arrested 29-year-old Damian Jones. Sometimes these things get a little out of hand and, and we need to step in and you know, take some type of action. All right, now we wanted to know from state police whether this trooper's actions were justified. They sent us a statement that read in part, troopers have the authority and responsibility to take necessary police action with regard to all serious police matters brought to their attention while off duty. The trooper acted to protect both the victim being assaulted and himself as the situation escalated. Now we're also told that trooper Roussel did not have his handcuffs on him at the time, but once he was able to subdue Jones, was able to have someone else go to his car and obtain those handcuffs. Uh, meantime, Jones is charged with aggravated assault among other counts and is in the Cumberland County prison tonight on $50,000 bail. Working for you live in Carlisle, I'm Megan Healy. Now back to you. All right. Thank you, Megan.